Hello everyone. My name is Ada. I hope that you are all doing great today. Many of us refer to the lion as the king of the jungle. But do you know how the lion became the king of the jungle? Don't worry, today I am going to tell you a very interesting story about how the lion became the king of the jungle. So sit back, relax, grab a box of popcorn and enjoy the story. A long, long time ago in the animal kingdom, all the animals lived together peacefully. But the lion did not live among them. The lion roamed the wild. Tortoise too did not live among them. He had robbed the monkeys, and they had burned down his hut. So the tortoise was also trying to survive in the wild. One day as the tortoise was walking about in the wild, he was so hungry and thirsty that he was sure he was going to die of hunger or thirst, or both. Fortunately for him, he saw a stream of water and decided to drink from it. But as he approached the stream to drink some water, the crocodile leaped out of the water and scared him off. Tortoise begged the crocodile for some water, but the crocodile refused. She asked him to pay some money before he could drink some water. Tortoise told her that he had no money and begged her for some water. The crocodile refused. She told him that the waters in the wild are for sale. She asked him to leave if he does not have any money before her husband comes home and eats him for lunch. Tortoise hurried away. He did not want to be eaten by a crocodile for lunch. Tortoise continued along the path. Soon enough, he came upon a beehive. As he reached up to grab some honey from the hive, a group of bees attacked him and fought him off for their life. Tortoise begged the bees for some honey, but the bees refused. The bees told him that their honey is the best in the animal kingdom and is for sale. They asked the tortoise to pay for the honey. The tortoise told them that he had no money and begged them for some honey, but they refused. They asked him to leave before they all sting him. Tortoise walked away from the bees. He did not want to be stung by the bees. So Tortoise continued along the path, and soon enough he came across a rabbit. The rabbit was working on his carrot farm. Tortoise asked the rabbit for some carrots. The rabbit refused. He asked Tortoise to pay for the carrot, but Tortoise told him that he did not have any money. The rabbit thought for a while. Then he suggested that Tortoise should help him work the farm, and as payment he will give him some carrots and some money by nightfall. Tortoise told him that he had a bad back and cannot work on the farm. The rabbit called him a lazy animal and asked him to leave before he hits him on the head with a stick. Tortoise walked away. He did not want to be hit on the head with a stick. As the tortoise continued to walk along the path, the snake called out to him. She had seen tortoise beg for food all morning. She offered tortoise an apple. But tortoise refused. He remembered that the snake had given woman an apple. Woman had eaten it and also gave it to man to eat, and the Almighty God, the one who created the heavens, and the earth, and all the living creatures in the world, banished them from the most beautiful garden on the surface of the earth. Tortoise did not want any trouble with the snake. So, he thanked the snake, rejected the apple, and walked away. As Tortoise continued to walk along the path, the sun rose to the highest point in the sky, and the temperature became unbearable for Tortoise. Tortoise soon came across a cave in the wild. He wondered who lived inside the cave. But he was tired and hungry and thirsty. So he decided to go inside the cave and rest for a while. When he got inside the cave, he saw a bowl of meat and some fresh wine. Tortoise ate all the meat and drank all the fresh wine. He was so happy that he had eventually found something to eat and drink. He also saw a bed inside the cave, but decided not to lay on the bed. He was afraid that the owner of the meat and fresh wine will be angry with him for eating the meat and drinking the wine. So Tortoise left the cave and walked away. Long after Tortoise had left the cave, the lion came home. The lion lived in the cave and was the owner of the meat and the fresh wine that Tortoise had eaten and drank. 
The lion noticed that the meat and the fresh wine was gone, and he became very angry. The lion went outside the cave and roared. The snake called out to the lion. She told him that Tortoise had entered his cave and was the one who ate the meat and drank the wine. The lion thanked the snake for the information and went in search of Tortoise. The lion soon found Tortoise sleeping under a tree. The lion arrested Tortoise and took him back to the cave. He told Tortoise that he would cook him and eat him in the morning. When night fell, Tortoise did not want to be eaten by the lion. So Tortoise came up with a plan. The next day, when lion came to eat Tortoise, Tortoise told him that he would make him the king of the jungle if he spared his life. Lion had always wanted to be the king of the jungle, so he listened to the tortoise. Tortoise told him that the monkeys are the kings of the jungle because they had all the money of all the animals in the animal kingdom. So Tortoise asked the lion to take over the monkey's bank. He explained to the lion that taking control of all the money in the animal kingdom will make him the king of the jungle. The lion liked the idea and decided to spare Tortoise. That afternoon, Lion stormed the monkey's bank and chased the monkeys away and took control of all the money in the animal kingdom. All the animals were scared of the lion and afraid that they will lose their money. So they all agreed to make the lion the king of the jungle. The lion returned the money to them and became the king of the jungle. That was how the lion became the king of the jungle and till this day remains the king of the jungle. I sincerely hope that you all enjoyed the story. What is the moral of the story? Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, kindly leave your feedbacks and comments in the comment section. See you in the next story. Thank you.